हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू मेड लैब टेक के पी टूडे आवर टॉपिक इज इफेक्ट ऑफ लेबोरेटरी टेस्ट रिजल्ट इट इज ए सब टॉपिक ऑफ बेसिक प्रिंसिपल ऑफ लेबोरेटरी मेडिसिन बट एट फर्स्ट आई वॉन्ट टू से सॉरी टू ऑल माई व्यूअर्स एंड फॉलोअर्स फॉर अनएबल टू पोस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम लास्ट फ्यू मंथस बिकॉज ऑफ माई पर्सनल प्रॉब्लम बट टूडे आई प्रोमिस यू दैट आई विल पोस्ट रेगुलरली फ्रॉम नाउ सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द इंट्रोडक्शन A clinical pathology or medical laboratory is a place where the specimen from human body are collected, processed, examined, or analyzed. These specimen, including the whole blood, plasma, serum, urine, feces, CSA, and other body fluids, are tested in the different parts or departments of the laboratory, like microbiology. parasitology hematology clinical pathology clinical chemistry virology helminthology urinalysis etc these laboratory test results plays a major role for decision making by the physician and the continuous patient monitoring these result of these lab test tests are affected by the various factors these factors are divided into the three parts number 1 pre analytical factors analytical factors and post analytical factors what is pre analytical factors pre means before that is the before testing the specimen is processed and the analytical factors that is the actual testing specimen and the post analytical phase that is the process involved after the test of the specimen generally the maximum number are errors happened in the pre analytical phases it is almost the 62% of the test and then the post analytical errors is 23% and the least is the analytical errors that is the 15% let's see the factors affecting on the free analytical errors the those are various types of factors being here number 1 is patient identification it is the most important step before sample collection from the patient the correct method of patient identification is there should be the patient's full name age and date of the collection and the registration number of the patient from the hospital provided there in the requisition form if there is any missing or any problem then the result or the laboratory report will be incorrect number 2 is the patient preparation it is the very much one of the most pre analytical errors is being here in some biochemistry test like glucose lipid profile and other plasma test or serum test there should be fasting overnight and some test like occult blood test there should be avoid some types of food and medicine i already in video made about occult blood test before and i will give the link description in the below and so patient preparation is very much important sometimes the smoking before the collection of the specimen can causes the increase in the wbc count glucose cortisol growth hormone cholesterol triglyceride etc so the care should be needed in patient preparation next is the selection of the appropriate specimen it is a also a very much important the before the collection of the specimen So there should be uh, gathered the correct 
specimen container and enter coagulants and uh, a video i already i made about the anticoagulants and the containers and so i will give the link description below so next is the specimen collection and specimen collection uh, especially blood collection i will give the description below and uh, before i made a video about the venous blood collection um, so please watch this video and that is the made based on the world health organization procedure next another important is the specimen leveling and transport after the collection specimen tube should be promptly leveled in the front of the patient and then sent to the laboratory with the requisition form if the specimen is collected in the hospital or analyzed in the laboratory within the hospital there uh, is no transportation factor required but if the specimen is sent to the distinct or far away from the uh, hospital so there should needed for transportation and reduced topper container so special preservation is needed for that next is the identification of specimen specimen and requisition form should be checked a proper identification information before receiving them in the laboratory and next is the handling and processing of specimen at the site of the testing after receiving the sample uh, there should be needed centrifugation in some sample there should be preserved in the refrigerator for future or further testing there uh, should be needed appendrop made uh, separation of the serum or plasma from blood after centrifugation sample and those are very important for pre analytical phases and another is the physiological variables the last is the physiological variables diet diurnal variation timing of collection exercise gender age altitude stress posture pregnancy all those physiological factors are uh, causes the error in pre analytical factors are can affect in the pre analytical factors so this is the basic idea of pre analytical factors later i will made more depth in the these pre analytical factors because many more things need to tell about it but the video will be longer that i made it so shortly next is analytical phase or analytical errors analytical factors that are the actual test procedure and including the maintenance and calibration of the instrument then the use of the standard and controls during the test procedure to validate the test reagents or kits then the quality controls to ensure the proper working or test method number 3 is number 4 is the technique and the factors that was effect in that is the pipetting diluting timing stability reagents etc this is there should the less error will happen in analytical phase and the post analytical errors there should calculate during calculation derive the result recording and reporting of the recording of the uh, patient clinician patient and the example of the laboratory test and the effect on the uh, being the recorded in the, there so guys please comment your queries and the suggestion in the below of the video comment section i will reply you as soon as possible i hope you really like and enjoy the video you will like please subscribe if you like our videos please subscribe our channel for more videos thank you bye bye